do it. Here's this pepper. It's Miss Pepper. Yeah. Yes. I think Marjorie's yeah. kitchen. What are you going to say? Pepper. <laughs> 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 Welcome again to my channel. Today's episode will be slightly different from my past episodes. I won't be cooking, but it's still going to be about food. Our episode today is about top food discoveries during the lockdown. So tayo mga Filipino, if there's one thing about us, is pag tayo ay nahaharap sa crisis o sa isang mahirap na sitwasyon sa buhay natin, mabilis tayong mag-rise above it. We are very resilient. We find ways to survive. And if there's one thing that this lockdown or this pandemic has taught us, is dapat hindi tayo magtatalo. We have to make the most out of it and it has to bring out the best in us. So natutuwa ako dahil maraming nag-emerge na magagaling magduto, magagaling mag-bake. And because of that, dahil sa creativity natin mga Pilipino, maraming nausong pagkain during the lockdown. At marami mga nag-stay at home na naging very productive and they've come up with really delicious home-cooked and home-based businesses na they can truly be proud of. So, I'm going to be featuring all of our favorites. That's why we call it our top food discoveries because out of the many food that we have tried during the lockdown that's mostly home-based, meron na kami mga na discover na favorites namin and I will be sharing that with all of you. But in the meantime, I'm going to prepare, I'm going to set up my table kasi gusto ko naman kahit delivered or take out yung aming in order, gusto ko we set it up like a party para special. So, join me in this episode today as we discover the yummiest food that's out there and that we can enjoy the comfort of our minds. Today, I'm gonna use my Lucy plates. These are gifts to me by, of course, Miss Lucy Torres Gomez, my good friend. These are her kalachuchi plates. I love kalachuchi. I'm gonna set up my main dining table like a buffet para ma display naman natin yung mga food, okay? I'm just picking some kalachuchi for that part. I love kalachuchi. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna use this. Come on. Because our theme of our plates is kalachuchi. Okay, we're gonna put real kalachuchi. So, we're just going to wait for the food for the final. Okay. So when you have parties that are casual or parties or merienda with kids, little get together or kailangan mo magpadala ng regalo para pang birthday or, or padala lang sa ating mga kaibigan or kamag-anak. What we order is hot dish. Okay? So, Leon's favorite is the pork sisig. And the kids and the adults alike nagaagawan sa chicken poppers with their really yummy gravy. Lumpiang Shanghai, another favorite of Leon. And their pork barbecue. Personally, I love their pork empanada. Ito, gustong-gusto ko talaga to. And, uh, pagka nag-order kami ng hot dish, nagtatago na ako ng patlo para sa akong bagong mga ibos. And, their buko pandan is also really amazing. So, for meriendas, for parties, or even just for ordinary days, because they also come in small sizes, you can order from hot dish. So, one of the latest craze yeah, during lockdown or something that has become famous is the Basque burnt cheesecake. Look at this. 
This is by Kay Garcia. One really late in the evening, I got a message from Marielle Padilla, the sister of Kay, and uh, she was saying that they were gonna send me this birth cheesecake to try. And perfect. Okay, it is perfect because it's not too cheesy. It was perfect. Yung kanyang pag kinain mo siya hindi siya masado matamis. Hindi siya. It's it's just perfect. I, I I really don't know how to explain it, but when it's something that you can eat on day one and it's good, and then masarap na naman siya the next day and the next day, then you know it's really really good. So that's a deadly shot, but na sa siya because we keep eating it. I keep eating it for dessert after meal. So this burnt cheesecake is one of my favorite discoveries during the lockdown. All right, now who doesn't love chicken in a salad? Okay, we always crave for this. Okay, the Ilonga in me likes it. So, kuya, take a, a shot of it. And this is from overcooked.ph. Okay? This is called their polo in a sal. Okay, so what do I love about this? This is usually, I'm gonna open it, huh? This is usually a whole chicken, polo in a sal, pero bo siya, no? But I had them cut it up already para masarap at madali ka inin. There is rice below it. You see? Ang sarap, di ba? And then, ito na yung chicken oil that you put on your rice. <laughs> Simple but really, really good. Okay? And then, overcooked.ph also has rigatoni. They call it the Bella Chow. If I'm not mistaken, yes, the Bella Chow. Okay? Look at that. I've tried this at Danny's house. And so good. This is what I like about when you order home-based food. When it gets to you, it's still very, very hot. So one of my top personal, personal favorites is this cacho e pepe shrimp by our friend Effie. Okay, so cacho e pepe is um, in Italy. They eat that with pasta. Okay, but her version is shrimp. And she added more spices because that one in Italy, they just have cheese, the pecorino cheese, and lots of pepper. This dish really has a lot of my favorite, pepper. But her version, she's added more. She's tweaked the recipe to her liking, and she's added shrimp. So this one, I like because you can either use this garlic bread, which my favorite preference is. This is the third time I'm ordering this, okay? so. This one, you either dip it or you can eat it with pasta. So it becomes a pasta sauce and with the shrimp on top. Or you can eat it with rice or you can eat it just as is. But this is the third time that I've ordered this. So in the States, in LA, my favorite restaurant ko doon, one of my favorite restaurants is um, Boiling Crab. We eat kamay kamay with this. And then what I like about that restaurant or that dish the shrimp nila and the crab nila is the sauce that I put into the hot white rice. Tapos talaga na mapapagalahan kumain. Siyempre, namimiss na namin yun. The last time we were in LA, December, nakakain pa ako doon. Until I have discovered dampaseafoodgrill.ph So they have what they call the seafood boil. Cajun style, we have crab, shrimp, and corn. It is in a platter. And once I have tried the sauce, wala na, sold na talaga ako sa kanila. Parang na rin ako na sa boiling crab sa LA. The good thing about it, when the restaurant was then closed, alam ko bukas na sila ngayon, pwede namin kainin sa bahay. And para yung vibe mo na, para kang kumakain sa restaurant, they said this, okay? Para niwa. So I'll show you how I assemble it. Pag in order namin to, nagsa set up talaga ako. Para talaga, you get the vibe. You don't know why this is one of my favorites. Kami kasi ng mga pamilya ko, mahili kami sa budo vibe. Patong patong ko lang kasi ang marami yung oil, okay? Tama na yan. And then it comes like this. It is a platter. And then I will set up. You see? Para talagang ganahan kang kumain. You know, this is what I mean about people being very creative, lalo na yung mga my restaurants or my business. They re bring it to the comfort of your home. So this is one platter and this is good for five to six people. The magic is in the sauce. <laughs> okay, then the crab. Then you put the rice in the middle. Siyempre, masarap kapag you squeeze lemon. So we have put the sauce. Inassemble ko na siya in wax paper, of course. Hindi siya kompleto. 
walang hot white rice there. Kinuha ko yung sauce kasi yan ang masarap on top of rice. And you have an instant party! So there's a favorite restaurant I have in Shangri-La Mall in Etza, and that's um, the Lemongrass Asian Bistro. And I was so happy to know that we can order and they can deliver their Chinese miswa. Favorite ko yan, the Chinese miswa. They deliver that now, and of course I have to have it. And of course their baby back ribs. So for those who celebrate their birthday, good luck ang miswa. Diba? Parang kailangan meron tayong Chinese miswa. So, lemon grass, Asian Bistro has your Chinese miswa. Now you can have it in the comfort of your home and their baby back ribs. So, we have an instant party. Eric, say see. hi. Hi. <laughs> so, eating. This is Sandy's pizza. Mm. Of course, the kids love pizza. How is it? Someone's happy. She had crispy pata and now she has pizza. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Say hi, Linz. <laughs> Ariet, are you happy? Yes. So are you gonna do it, Mrs. Pepper? Miss Pepper? Yes. I think Marjorie's uh, kitchen. What are you gonna say? Pepper. Why <laughs> <laughs> not? You should have no pepper. Pepper. Yeah. What are you gonna say? Maybe your top dishes. Comment below what. You think she should sell? Oh, well. <laughs> she doesn't comment below what she should sell. So, Chloe eats that like potato chips. <laughs> yeah. I had 11 months left. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is it from? Where is it from? Puto people. Puto people. Yeah, so. Wait, how many did I just eat? Which was full? Did I have three? I got scared. Two clouds in your face. I thought I was like, yeah, I thought I could eat this. I really like the barbecue. So you're going to take this and you're going to dip the bread. Okay, so get that. And then again, put this and he can have a dip, okay? Effie, this is it. I'm going to talk about. On the motorcycle. Oh, I could have I didn't eat it. Oh, I didn't eat it. Yes. Wait, no, but I don't feel like my mouth. Like I okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> so much latest craze um, dishes came out. So one of that is the ube bandesai. Ube centric. Okay, yeah. Ube centric. Ube nation. Ube nation. Okay, so a little history about ube. My love story with ube. Okay, as a kid. Okay, I when other kids would eat. Um, chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream. I always choose ube. Oh, my kids are laughing because I'm giving a whole history on my love for ube. But anyway, <laughs> I used to eat pandasal, hot pandasal with ube ice cream. That was my palaman. So I was so happy when ube pandasal. <laughs> so story. When ube and the pandasal was born. <laughs> okay, seriously. I was really one of the happiest when ube pandasal became a craze. And I've tried a lot of ube pandasals. So this one by Kennedy Kitchen is my favorite and their favorite. My favorite. Two. So every day we have ube pandasal in our house. Okay, so Chloe eats it cold. I like it hot. I only heat it for two seconds in the microwave. No, not cold. Room temperature. Room temperature. Okay. Show them. Unboxing. Okay. <laughs> Unboxing. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait. 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 Julia, Julia. Wait, listen, this ube, in, Leon. Okay, okay. this ube pandasal has cheese. Now, what makes them really special with Kennedy Kitchen is they the use ube halaya that is homemade. Oh, oh. see, you didn't even know that. That's why it's iba. Because I checked the Instagram page. Of course, before naman I say that this thing is really good, I make sure that it really is Honestly, good. this is the best. I've tried and I have to try it. It's just the perfect amount of ube, perfect amount of cheese. Should I eat that one? Everything. And can I just say, mm -hmm. even if you don't microwave it, it's mm -hmm. just as yeah. chewy Same. and chewy, yeah. gooey and yeah. I always say that I don't I microwave it anymore. I just microwave it. Yeah. And if you don't like cheese, there's also choice now. Pure ube. So this one, 
really good. Top two best. Favorite. Hmm? She really had to eat that dish. Can I have Coke? <laughs> Coke? <laughs> Why not water? <laughs> Why not water? <laughs> she goes. My mom has a habit of dipping ube in the water. I was like, I was like, Why do you eat it? And then she goes, Oh my god, can I have Coke? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's Coke Zero, by the way. No, oh, okay. okay. It makes it so much healthier. It makes it so much healthier. Cook there. Next, the ube. This one. Let's talk about more about my history. My love for ube. So it's not enough that I eat ube pandesal. We discovered from puto people this ube pandan mixture in a puto is so good and it looks so pretty. That's ube pandan with cheese. This is ube pandan and then this is plain ube. Oh no, it's cheese. With ube cheese. with cheese. So good. Okay, you know why Clau is the one describing as her favorite? It's from puto people and Claudia eats this like potato cheese. Yeah, and my friend makes it. So you yes. Mm -hmm. And so we always also have this because Claudia can eat just one. Whole yes. tin for her. Okay, so. Okay, so to, to close this, this puto is made by puto people and it's so moist inside. Yes. Now we like to eat it at room temperature or even cold yeah. from the ref, but me, but I... No, it, you should heat it for a bit, it's better. I heat it for maybe two seconds. Two seconds? So, yeah. So, some of our top favorites. So, of course, the famous sushi bake. This is cheesy baked sushi. We get this all the way from Cavite. It's from Lago Cafe. There, so cheesy baked sushi. Oh my gosh, we've, I've ordered this so many times. I can't even count anymore. Can I have so much sushi bake out in the market? And I have one more there. It's it's called, what is it called, Kuya? Sisig. Sisig baked sushi. Sisig baked sushi. Both from Lago Cafe. There. Okay. Nice. See? Look at this. Sisig. This is so yummy. Is it good? Yeah. Very good. So that concludes my vlog, my episode today. I hope that I was able to share with you all our favorites and our discoveries and that I hope that we will all continue to support each other, most especially the small businesses and those businesses that are trying to get back on their feet. I think it's important now na magkakaisa isa tayong lahat and um, just be there for each other. So thank you. See you again.